So hello everyone, I'm Daim Khan, member of Android team in DSC, along with Shrub Ghosh, who is from the management team, are going to present in front of you some do's and don'ts of DevHacks. Firstly, a very warm welcome from DSC Kit for taking part in DevHack. It's a high time for you to do some productive work while being at home. By participating in our DevHack Hackathon, hope for the best which you along with your team can work on. So. How to prepare for a dev hack? I personally learned a lot from all the hackathons in which I took part. This is where I learned the most about what needs to be done before and during a hackathon so that it is a successful event for all team members. Hackathons are a great, great place to learn, to code, and work on a team with other members of which some are programmers, some are designers. It doesn't matter if you're technical or non-technical. You might not write code, but have a knack for finding product market fit, marketing, and selling the dream. Through this list, I will consolidate all the things I wish someone had told me before my first hackathon. While a hackathon is an environment where you do almost everything on the fly, preparing ahead of time helps to ensure success. So what are the do's and don'ts for the hackathon? Before we dive into do's and don'ts, I need to mention one thing. I don't regret taking part in any of those hackathons, no matter of the results. In a, even if we didn't win. I have gained invaluable, invaluable experience and motivation for further learning and advancement. This is why I pluck up courage to everyone to find hackathons and apply for them. And DSC is probably going to make more hackathons in the upcoming time. So stay tuned. Most importantly, during the hackathon, you will gain a lot of knowledge on how to rapidly build prototypes from scratch. So let's, let me explain to you some do's and don'ts. I will first like to mention the don't segment. Let's talk about the negatives first and end up with the high, healthy, positive and high energy. So here we begin. Don't get anchored to the notion of just one idea. This is the first don't that I would like to mention. Don't imagine that your idea is the sole way to cater or solve the ongoing problem. Always pre-assume there might be someone who may be having an equally amazing idea. The second is don't get effort if you can't code. Be a hustler. Hustler are the business savvy. The folks who might not write code, but have a knack for finding product market fit, marketing and selling the dream. Grease your creative gears, refractors your brain to sell an idea, whether that's the idea of what to build at the beginning or the idea you have built in the end. Next comes, don't rush to make the final product. Hackathons are not for that. Another mistake that many people make, especially those who are first to join on a hackathon, they are focusing too much on building a functional. It's undeniable that this is right while building a proper product, but unfortunately, it doesn't work for the hackathon. We all expect to you to show the MVP that is a minimum viable product. What is next? So don't make it too specific or too broad. This point seems to be self-explanatory. You have to have be smart enough to present the adequate information while strongly sticking on ideas. Don't be errant. Always follow the rules that are mentioned at any point. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the organizing committee of DSC Kit. Don't let the project die. So it is the last of the don'ts and it is the most important. It is important that all team members are in a good mood at all times. Everyone will be very, very tired at the end of the event. It's the part of the joy of doing a hackathon. On the other hand, we must respect this fatigue. Never leave the ship in the middle of the ocean. Try your best and trust me. In the end, you will feel how much you have improved. Now let's talk about some positives that you're going to feel during this dev hack. So the first is to make a brainstorm and find an idea. Generate as much ideas as possible on the given topic. Strain out the best ideas that you can implement within the given time frame. Make feature prioritization and define minimum set of features that you need to implement for presentation. Try to build the initials of the prototype. Give tasks to each member. Do install your work environment. Get ready with all the tools and necessary things. Do market research and validate your environment, validate your idea. Now, when you understand what to expect as a solution, you need to properly prepare for it. Otherwise, you will likely just come up with a raw idea, only yourself on the team and quickly fall behind once mentors start asking hard questions. Do find a problem solution fit. Make your product 10 times better or 10 times cheaper than your competition. Shake up an existing state of things, habits in the existing tech, as you're provided with the ample amount of time. 
taking the idea a step further and taking it to the natural next move. Create a questionnaire using the social media like Instagram or Twitter. This will help you understand whether people would be interested in a future solution at all. So next, do accept that your stress personality will come out. If you are doing everything right, then you are very near being finished with your project by the last evening of the hackathon. If you are the team captain, it's your duty to take the lead and get the best result out of your amazing team. In the end, most importantly, do enjoy your time. Hackathons are meant to be learning experience. If you didn't have the fun by the end of it, then you did it wrong. And that's the only way to do it wrong. Now that I have bestowed upon my infinite wisdom, coming from my experience at one entire hackathon, mind you, I promise go for this hackathon and you will uh, enjoy your weekend. So from here, my fellow mate Shirup is going to take over. Hi guys, welcome to DevHack by Developer Society Club. Kit. So uh, I guess you've selected your team members. The team is the most important part of any hackathon. People are going to look at your team and they are going to judge it. After selecting it, I hope that you've selected your theme domain and after selecting your theme domain, you will have selected your main problem statement. After selecting the problem statement, break down your problem statement into solvable chunks and start working on them. Conduct surveys and gather information. Explore the problem statement and map out its brevity. Problems that others have not faced or seeked out and find that will give you an open edge. Then get into the solution. In the solution, mention how you have solved all the aforementioned problems and their uniqueness. Spend a few slides on this and really put it out as how you have found the solution. Define each metric and their capabilities. If any new technology stack is mentioned, explain it. Showcase all your prototype and new establishments, the code snippets, whatever you have worked here. The architectural diagram will put all your selected problem and your solution in one place. Make the thing wholesome. It will provide a clear picture of the whole problem that you are solving and how you have made an innovative effort to get there. A graphical representation like a flowchart or any other method will showcase the innovativeness of the process and will become an easier way to judge. Coming to the business model, one of the main criteria. So in a business model, what all should you mention? First, find out the total addressable market for your product, a TAM. How many people are facing the problem will ensure how big your market is. Then plan out your target audience Try making a persona of the target customer so it will be easier for you to market it. This will be a marketing strategy. All these will ensure the feasibility of your product and you will be able to judge whether you should move forward with the idea or you should not. The next comes your business model. That is how you'll generate the revenue. Lastly, your competition. Having competition is great. It shows interest in the field. But oversaturation of competition is also not desirable. So keep that in mind while moving forward. And mention why you're better than them, what your modes are, what your advantages are, and what you can do better than they can't. Once you have all these figured out, it will be a solid planned out process that will be an ensure your victory. Since this is the time of pandemic, you can also put in a scenario of how this could be of help during the pandemic and of a greater purpose. Thank you for participating in the hackathon. Happy hacking. Now Shashwat will take over and give you a small note on JIT. Thank you. Hey team leads. This is a small introduction into what you need to do for your project to get registered and be eligible for judging correctly in DevHack. First, you'll head to this template repo whose link will be in the video description and click on the use this template button. Once here, Please choose private and set a suitable name for your repo, which I'm going to do here, and then click on create repository from template. Now you can see that your repo has been created. Head over to settings tab and from there click on manage access. Over here invite a collaborator and search for DSCKIIT and choose them and add DSA kit to them. 
Now, this is crucial as we need access to your repo to be able to judge it. You can also use this feature to collab with your team members. Now, over here, click on clone or download and copy the URL and fire up your terminal and type in the following and paste this URL. And now your repo now exists on your local machine. So let's see into the repo and find out. Over here, let's see, we have two directories, code and PPT. Code is meant for your code and PPT is meant for your uh, DevHacks presentation. So inside, let's see inside code, where we'll add maybe, I don't know, a simple file, let's say test.js. And then let's add all of our files to the staging area and commit as initial commit. Great. Now let's push this to our GitHub. As you can see that it's pushed. So if we go back and refresh our browser, you should see a new commit appear with your file. Now, if you scroll down, you'll find the template readme. Make sure you fill most of this template readme with details like project description, solution description with maybe an architecture or entity relation diagram and team member details. You can also add further sections if necessary. If you have any problems in editing your readme using Markdown, you can refer to this Markdown tutorial which will be linked down below. Happy hacking!